In yesterday's video, we got the Rally Miata ready to paint. We sanded the entire thing twice. We did some body work, repaired some rust, cut out some rust, didn't repair it, just cut it out. We painted a lot of things. We painted the badges, the, the windshield wipers, the mirrors, the front bumper, the rear bumper, the, uh, the, the, the headlight covers, and some other stuff. And that was pretty much it. Today, the first thing we have to do is get rid of all the stupid Plasti Dip that's on the car. So what we have to get rid of that, Plasti Dip Dissolving Spray. What this does, you spray it on the Plasti Dip and it reliquifies the Plasti Dip so it no longer sticks to whatever it's on and then you can power wash it off. The Plasti Dip is mostly stuck on the rubber trim, the black rubber trim. The one thing it says on this thing, it says, <clears throat> Avoid contact with rubber plastics, especially black rubber. <laughs> Which, of, of course, is the only thing that the plastic up stuck to. I don't think it's gonna matter because we're gonna repaint the stuff anyway, so. If it, you know, bleaches it, then whatever. So we'll do that and get rid of the plastic dip. We will paint the trim black. We will paint the handles black. We'll paint part of the hard top black. And then we'll tape that stuff off and paint the entire car tan. Should be pretty easy, should go pretty well. Once everything is painted, we will hopefully reassemble it all. I do wanna let the stuff dry for a couple days just to make sure it's really strong before we reassemble it. So that might be in the next video, but stay tuned and find out. I need to start working so I can get this video out to you guys on time, so. Without any further ado, let's get rid of this damn Plasti Dip with this dissolving spray. Ah, yikes. No mirrors. <laughs> Driving a neutered Miata. I right, take my Plasti Dip dissolver, spray it on a Plasti Dip. So I let it sit like that for five minutes and then I spray it off. Hopefully it works. Nope, didn't work. It worked in some spots, but it didn't work well enough. It was just a big waste of time. Now I have to go home and peel it up anyway, so. It kinda sucks, cause uh, it's gonna be a time consuming process, but I gotta do it, so. Oh, uh, plastic dip, man. Plastic dip, plastic dip, plastic dip, plastic dip, plastic dip, plastic dip. I think the main thing that I accomplished was just getting a terrible chemical all over my car, which I'm gonna have to spend even more time cleaning off. Otherwise the paint will react to it, so. Ugh. While I continue to struggle with the plastic dip, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the fenders off and start painting those separately. Sadly, we had some issues with the hood because your boy was too lazy and didn't shake the can up enough and then it just spat out a bunch of dry shit, so. It was super dry in this one corner, so I sanded it down uh, and it's all smooth again, so now we can continue to paint. I'm trying to do this as legit as possible, so I'm taking my time doing it right. This plastic shit sucks. Now, like, too weird and gooey to paint over, but yet it's not coming off. So like, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should uh, use more of the dip dissolving spray and try to get it off, or if I should wait for it to dry, or if I should just paint over it. I don't fucking know what to do. So I went back to the car wash again, and I got it pretty good. What I did is I like scratched off all the plastic up I could and then I sprayed it with the dip dissolving spray and then I hit it with the power wash like four times and still didn't get all of it, but it's much better. I got some help today in the form of Audrey. Yay! She's taping up the windows. While she does that, I'm gonna sand a couple more things inside the license plate area the little chrome um, hard top stuff. Today is hopefully the last day we'll be working on this thing. Hopefully we'll get it all painted so it can uh, dry overnight and then we can reassemble it tomorrow.
so the uh, car is pretty much ready for paint. All the windows are taped off. Nice a... army tan. Oh, actually that's kind of true. It does look very similar. Wow, I didn't realize that. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna paint the trim. So all of this, all of this, all the windshield trim, it's all kind of worn and it's got plastic on it in some spots and it's sanded up. So we're gonna paint it all flat black. We're also gonna be painting the handles and that black. So we'll just paint it all up and we'll tape them off and then we'll paint the rest. Uh, before I do that, I have to go over the entire car with wax and grease remover. Woo! The trim and the door handles are looking really fantastic. Now, the one issue, we have to let all the trim dry for about 24 hours because we're gonna have to tape over it. So we're gonna let that dry over overnight. I wanna try to get some more painting done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull off the trunk and we're gonna pull off the rear finish panel and paint both of those. Uh, I'm definitely sad I can't paint the actual car today. I wanted to get it all done today, but I would rather do it right. I don't want to tape up the trim and then have the, the paint peel off. So tomorrow we'll come back, paint the car, and then that will be it. I will say that it kind of stinks making a painting video because painting, it's kind of boring to watch uh, and it's really time consuming. So to make a good long video, you have to spend numerous days painting. That is why this video is a day late. I wanted to post it on Thursday, but it'll probably be posted on Friday. Uh, apologies, but painting is just such a time consuming thing when you're trying to do it right. Anyway, we'll come back tomorrow after this dries overnight. Tomorrow. So uh, hopefully this paint is all dry now. It's all looking really good. So now we're gonna tape off all the trim, tape off all the stuff that we painted flat black, and we can paint the car. Sadly, the curse of the terrible Plasti Dip dissolving spray has come back to haunt us. A lot of the paint on this rubber trim over here just would not dry. I'm assuming some of the chemicals got stuck in the rubber trim even though we washed it a bunch of times and it caused the paint to just not dry. But I don't care. This is the passenger side door. Thankfully, I'm not gonna be spending much time around here. I'm not waiting another day to paint this thing. So I'm just gonna paint it. Worst case scenario, I can repaint the trim. That's not that hard. So she's pretty much ready for paint. Gotta do a little bit more taping off and then we're good. Wax and grease remover, check. Crank up the heat in the shop so the paint lays properly, check. I'm gonna go ahead and paint the hard top and the, uh, the windshield area first. That way I don't have to be like reaching over paint down here in order to paint up here. So I'll get all three layers up top and then I'll do the rest of the car. As soon as this wax and grease remover dries, we'll go ahead and paint the hard top. I'm kind of excited, I'm also kind of nervous.
while that dries, I'm gonna go actually get more paint. I have four cans left, which would be close to being able to finish this, but not quite, definitely not quite. A couple sad things happened on that trip. Number one, I had to drive like 45 minutes to find a Menards that still had this spray paint in stock. <laughs> I sold out two Menards of the spray paint and now a third. So yeah, Menards, you gotta buy more spray paint, dude. The thing that is significantly sadder is that they started salting the roads. <sighs> it's official, winter's here. Pretty sure it's supposed to snow tomorrow, so I really gotta get this thing painted and reassembled tonight so I can drive it. Because, you know, our compounds plus snow usually is not very good. I'm gonna go ahead and paint the doors now. Pretty much every time up till now when I was painting using these cans, it was on a horizontal surface. Painting on a vertical surface, well, um, <laughs> runs. Whoopsies. This entire door is running, so I'm gonna have to re-sand this entire door. Frustrating, but hey, we'll, we'll fix it. This door turned out fine. Uh, I'm assuming that heating the spray paint cans up uh, made the runs worse because the, the paint was a little bit warmer so it could run easier. So I'm gonna stop hitting up the cans. I'd rather have slightly orange peely paint than runny paint. Just a little self-plug here. Uh, I'm currently doing a Q&A uh, on Patreon, just answering some of you guys' questions. I'm also going to post some pictures of the rail miata when it's all done so they can see it a little bit early. If you guys wanna be a part of that, you can go in the description, head over to Patreon. It really, really does help. I appreciate all the support. It's kind of funny because I'm trying to do this q and I've been sitting here for five minutes now and I haven't got a single question because they don't have enough patrons. So that's kind of funny, but. As soon as I do get questions, I'll answer them. Just nobody's asking me questions. Oh, one one question. Daniel D, will you rebuild the bus engine or do other mods to it? Well, I'm going to respond to Daniel if you want to go see my response. This thing is starting to look really sick. I did another layer on the back quarter panels, uh, and I think the doors are dry enough to fix the uh, the runs. So I'm going to go ahead and try to sand out the runs a little bit. So I'm gonna let that dry for probably about an hour, then I'll take off all the tape, and then I can actually probably start uh, reassembling things. I'd say that looks pretty good. This is one of those times where on camera, it looks almost like white, but it's much, uh, it's a much more vibrant color in person. It's like a, a tan, it's a full tan. I definitely could have done a better job taping. You can kind of tell there are some spots where, you know, different colors of paint mix, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and start reassembly. I'm not gonna finish it today, but I'll start it. Quick little walk around. The hood has a little bit of tiger striping, but everything else is pretty damn good. I know a couple of you guys don't like the stock bumper. Don't worry, we are gonna be doing an awesome bumper cut. 
And then we are actually gonna shoot the exhaust out right here and then do like a big plate. I am pretty happy with the way it turned out. There's definitely a couple of issues, but my goal was to get a different color to make it look decent, make it look better than it did, and it definitely accomplished that. If the RX-7's paint job was a seven out of a 10, I'd probably give this a five out of 10. Not perfect, but definitely not bad. And it definitely will look better with the snorkel, the hard top, or the pff, hard tops right now, the roof rack, the fender flares. I don't wanna put that stuff on until the paint is a little bit more dry, a little bit stronger. Um, I already scratched it in a couple places getting that hood on. I don't know why I tried to do that myself, but I did. So in the next video, we will finish reassembling everything, all the accessories, we'll repaint some things, make it look nice, put the badges on that are matte black. Ooh, gonna look good. And then we have a new headlights to install. So that will be really awesome. After the next video, it'll go back to being a daily. We'll do a couple of modifications, fix the exhaust, do that cool uh, side exit exhaust and some other stuff. I might repaint the hood because it looks like it didn't get quite enough paint right in this corner. You can kind of tell it's a little bit lighter. So that's one flaw I can totally notice. Thank you all so, so, so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, thank you for commenting, thank you for liking, disliking. If you did enjoy the video, by the way, like it if you didn't enjoy dislike it. Um, let me know, like I said. And yeah, I can't wait to get reassembled and out on the road, which will happen in the next video. So I'll see you guys then.